the confidence thing that uh, you know you kind of mentioned. Uh, I'd like to bring it to when we got to New Jersey for a pre World Junior camp, and then we went to a New Jersey Devils game. Uh, can you tell us the story about? So we walked out. I'll just I'll kind of like tee up here, but tee it up, Mots. Yeah. So um, we're going over to Finland for the World uh, Junior Championships, but we were in Hackensack, New Jersey for. It was like two weeks or something yeah. crazy. <laughs> right? Yeah, it was like another training camp. Yeah. Like, Good red lobster there, Mott. <laughs> yeah. No, the Olive Garden. The Olive Garden. Olive, oh, <laughs> red lobster was right next door. Yeah. So uh anyway, we um go to a, a Devils Rangers game and we walk out to the center uh, center ice, you know, like waving and all that stuff and like announce our names or whatever. And um we go back underneath the the belly of the uh arena. We're in the um uh, in the locker room. And Randy McKay came and talked to us afterwards. But during this whole time, uh, something happened. And, um, you know, it, it kind of like it, it's it, it was just like the precursor to where Scott ended up. So uh, when we uh, why don't you tell it from your point of view, Goma? So like Mott said, we're at the World Juniors. We're there. And we're like, God, it seemed like we were there for a week in Hackensack. And people don't realize it's not like, you know, New York City's right there. Did you guys go out to New York City and check it out? No. We're at the Rink Hotel, Rink Hotel. Um, they announce our names, and team kind of separates. And I think like five of us. The 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 manager, team leader, whatever, comes up to us and says, um, "Hey, would you guys like to go into Lou Lamarillo's office and look at a Stanley Cup ring?" We have no. I didn't know who Lou Lamarillo was or his 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 prestige. You know how. And so five of us go in there. Me, Mots, Ty Jones, I wish I could name, but I remember Mots was there. And, you know, you stick around the guys you're kind of close with and guys are kind of same personality. And we go in the, we go into the general manager's room and the board is just, it's got like every, everyone that's ready to play everyone. And then they got a bunch of prospects. They have guys that the list, I mean, there's just, and this is all written down. It's same like, this is before they had the, the, the Christmas and all that. Yeah. And so we're in there, and me and Ty Jones were messing around. We have no clue who Lou Lamarillo is or how scary this guy was going to be in my life. But me, Mox, and Jonesy are right there, and they had a list of guys like who's coming next. And I remember I told Ty and Mox, I go, I want to put my name in there. And they're like, obviously, it's a dare. Like, oh, you won't do it. And of course, yeah, you won't. You won't. Mean, guys, because I talked a big game. Me and Jonesy are like, I'm just saying it, joking around. And now we're with Mox, and he's at a different level. Like, you won't do it, kid. You won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> now Mox is calling me out. And I'm like, well, what, what could happen? So I write my name, Gomez, under the you know the prospects that are coming up. And uh, they go afterwards. Those team leaders like, does anyone have any questions for Lou Lamarillo? And he knows how scary this guy is. He knows from USA Hockey, ever his. his his rep and everything. And I think Mox was like, yeah, he's got a question. And I'm like, yeah, I got a question. And I'm like, why is my name so low on this list? I'm way better than all these guys. And the team leader and everything, me, Mox, and Jones are <laughs> laughing. And like, but I mean, that is like, if you think about it now, and if I would have known, if I would have known this is Lou Lampo's office or his board, I wouldn't have done it. But that's hanging out. Like I said, I know we're PG mass holes. You're hanging out with a different total chip. Mots is the one that made me do it. <laughs> we didn't even know. And the team leader, he almost, That's had a, unbelievable. he almost had a heart attack. And it's funny because people will be like, you'll tell that story. And then when I got drafted by the Devils, Lou brought it up. And he was like, I knew this kid. I knew that moment. And I'm just like, Mike Motto made me do that. <laughs> so I owe Mots a lot. But, yeah, I mean, we didn't know. We were just saying. We were, we, we were that group of kids that, yeah. But if you think about it now, hell no. You ain't touching Lou. You, uh, no. you don't touch anything. anything. You're not even walking in that office. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah we, it, was, it was so prestige for us to take the time because the game was going on. Yeah, it we was. We just happened to be a separate group that got, like, right there. And, yeah, and uh, yeah, I'll never forget that. And Lou still brought it up. Like, yeah, that kid, uh, you know, wow, he showed something where he really didn't know that my mass old friend's the one that dared me to do it. He made, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he made me do it. That's unbelievable. I was 